They came on like a wave. More than 5,000 protesters flooding Ocean Avenue. Their intent... They came on like a wave. More than 5,000 protesters flooding Ocean Avenue. Their intent was to be heard by the president, the government, and anyone else who will listen. We're just basically trying to get the word out and trying to um, stop, stop the occupation in uh, Iraq and Afghanistan. We want to bring all the troops home. If uh, the American people don't fight back, who will? I mean, it's like the, the people in charge of this country are not, are not interested in, in, in the interests of, of ordinary people. Yeah, this is really energizing to be with a lot of people who want the war to end. And I think it just is going to take all of us hitting the streets to have that happen. One group, however, clearly didn't want to hear their message. The small group of veterans and military families say they weren't protesting. They were simply here to support the troops and the country. We are supporting our troops, which everybody should be, because if it wasn't for the troops, Cindy Sheehan and her group wouldn't be walking down the street. You're a very small minority, sir. They volunteered to fight. They wanted to go. They knew what they were headed into. They knew the possibilities. But they also felt very strongly about protecting their families, this country, the freedoms that we have. The groups came together in front of the Colony Hotel, and both sides held to their word, raising their opinions and not their fists. So far it's going well. We have obviously way more people here than we have the last couple. But uh, again, as you heard, my, my issues are with the confrontation between both ends of the political spectrum there. As the march continued, police were able to keep the protesters in check. While the majority of the group was turned around at Summit Avenue, police allowed a small contingent of military families to walk up to Walker's Point. These are the soldiers, but I think it's important. Everybody needs to know, you know, they're not expendable. They're, they're our children. The government may not care about them, but we sure do. After several minutes of chanting and singing, Police finally turned the group around, ending the march peacefully, the way these protesters say they would like to see the war in Iraq end. In Kennebunkport, Scott's own News Center.